Viewers, today latest update from Ethiopia and Tigray. Viewers, multiple strikes reported on the outskirts of Kambolcha tonight. With clashes here in the city, clashes confirmed inside Kambolcha and in the mountains near the city. With news that Fanu has potentially gotten as far as the radio station inside the city, Tigray Defense Force still inside. The exact situation is unclear, but we have marked part of Kambolcha as to reflect the news of fighting. Tigray Defense Force fighters are confirmed to be in the mountains surrounding the city as well as several eastern neighborhoods at time of posting, hopefully more news in the morning. On the other hand, Oromo Liberation Army has captured three cities in the Oromia zone of Amhara state along the A2 highway, including an administrative center of the special zone, Kemese effectively cutting off government forces, engaging allied Tigray defense forces just 30 miles north. Finn Fine seems to be in panic. Airport is jammed with clothes with those desiring to leave the country. Curfew has been imposed. The road to northwest via the Brebehran is closed. Sandava is now mostly under a total control of the Oromo Liberation Army. Anyway, Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed called on all civilians in Ethiopia to temporarily suspend their daily affairs and arm any possible weapon to fight the Tigray Liberation Front after the Ethiopian Army, Amhara Fanu Militia and Eritrean mercenaries were unable to do so. There are also appears to be distrust and disintegrating within the prosperity party camp. Abi said a lot of people working in the current Ethiopian government are still cooperating with the Tigray People Liberation Front to, to facilitate the takeover of the country. We have to deal with these individuals and fight them. So here this is how Tigray forces deal with prisoners. Let's watch this video.